let's say you add in a horizontal image to your background on Squarespace. On desktop, that is going to look excellent. But what a lot of clients say to me is, well, okay, I've got this background image, but on mobile, it gets cropped to the vertical aspect ratio, which, you know, it tends to do. But with the advent of Fluid Engine being rolled out on Squarespace, what we can do is actually resize these background images to fit how they looked on desktop. What we can do is we can resize these images to actually fit to make sure nothing gets cut off or the crop is, is much more in line with what you want. So let's say you had an image of four team members. So person one, person two, person three, person four. On the classic editor section, that would get cropped down and you may only see two of those four people. With Fluid Engine and with the ability to actually manually resize these background images, we can get everyone into frame basically. And that's just one really specific use case, but I've seen it happen many, many times with clients. So let's get into it. First of all, what we need to do is go into our editor. Now, this is a classic section that we've got here. So let's add, for instance, a group of people. So we'll replace this, use a stock image, group of people. So let's say we want to get all of these people in. Now, I'm just going off the, the use case that I gave in the, in the quick video snippet before. Obviously, you may not be trying to get people in. You may be just trying to get um, like a building in or, or whatever it may be. Or maybe you just don't want the image to be cropped at all. So this is in Classic Editor. Okay. Now when we go to Mobile View, you can see people are cropped off. What we need to do is make this into a Fluid Engine section. So if we click Upgrade, what we can now do is just go on Desktop and I'll show you that it's, it's the same setup basically. But on Mobile, now we have control over this section. So if we go into Edit Section, we change the alignment and we change fill screen like so. You can see, we can now see all people. So what we need to do is just make this a little bit bigger, highlight this so it doesn't actually cover everyone up, scale the text and just make it smaller. There we go. I mean, you can have a play around with how you actually want this to look. Um, but now we can see our group of people isn't cropped. I'm going to bring it right to the edge of where the crop starts because the section's a little bit too small for mobile if it's like all the way up to the top. Here is probably where it's just about acceptable because if, if you're using something that's like super, super wide screen, it's not going to bode well on mobile, obviously, and you've got to bear those kind of things in mind when you're designing across both desktop and mobile. But for instances like this, you can see on desktop, I'm going to lighten this up so you can see uh, our image a little bit better. What we want to do here is just drag it down because when we toggle fill screen, it will, actually, it will change the height of the section. So let's just drag this down, bring code examples down, and you can see we've got our group here. Then on mobile, you can see it a lot better now. No one's cropped. What it was like was this, and then we only had three people on. So what you can do is just drag to where you see fit. I'm gonna keep it there. I think that looks solid. And that is how you resize background images.